Hello everybody and welcome to this new episode of Forts and today I don't really have anything planned except for my master revenge plan. Now this plan has been in the works ever since episode 10 I think. I can't remember now. It's been a little while since I started planning this. Uh, the expo marker I've used to written it down is probably stuck to my whiteboard forever. <laughs> um, so last episode, what we did was we built uh, the animal sanctuary over here. I still need to build the roof on that. Um, and so we built this little area over here. Uh, I still have my bodyguards behind me, by the way. They're the dogs that are standing, my bodyguards. Um, so we built this last episode without the big drip leaves. Also, in the meanwhile, since I've, like, went on the server last, um, we have updated it to 1.18, which is very exciting, even though we've traveled so far now that it's probably going to be very hard to find <laughs> the new world generation stuff. Um, so some of the plugins might not work anymore, actually. But, um, we hope most of the ones we used often work, we use often work, um, like this, yeah. Uh, sometimes I literally forget, um, that a couple of the plugins that we consistently use on the server, um, I've been hurting myself a lot, I don't know why. <laughs> um, so, I haven't really planned out what I'm gonna do today in this episode. Um, except for start taking my revenge on Starlight for for a lot of things in the past episodes. Um, a lot of them I can't remember by now, but it it's revenge time. So, um, yeah, let's start off with preparing for our revenge plan. This episode, my revenge plan is enacted. Uh, I don't really remember what my revenge was for, but first off, we're gonna stop over at Starlight's house. And I still have to be polite to her system, but I will be doing devious things. So, honestly, <laughs> so I don't think Starlight's revealed any of this in her episodes, but I'm coming over to her place over here. And so, she she has her horse, Renee, right here. This is Renee. Uh, she's the same horse from the earlier episodes. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to be a little bit honest here. I was riding her around, and I fell into the bushes with her. <laughs> um, so, she's still stuck in the bushes. Yeah. So, the first step of my master plan is to get her out of the bushes so that I can do everything I want to do with her. Um... Uh, so last episode, we put snow everywhere. So most of it's melted, but like a couple of stacked pieces. And yeah, like most of this survived. She yelled at me when she found out as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, in like our uh, chat thing that we have, um, she said, Why is there snow all over my base, Rubix? <laughs> um... I said, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> She's like, I know you did it. Because <laughs> I'm the only other person on forts currently. Um, oh, I need to put this. Last time I put it in her composter. This time, I'm just going to put one in here. I'm just going to keep stacking as I come through. So, I think... So, oh, I still have all these beetroot seeds and cactus. I was doing some stuff on the server a little while ago, and I just completely forgot what I was doing since then. Um, so, let's fly into here, and then go down to the basement, and kind of strategically plan out what we're going to do. Um, so, I think this is just flowing down still. Yeah. So, something happened, and now it is, like, completely water. <laughs> and it's isolated without, like, me trying to isolate it, even, so. Just a nice little glitch. I have my chicken farm down here as well. Yeah, very. 
an effective chicken farm. Um, I don't know why I have paper on me. Uh, throw it in this chest. Um, so, first off, oh yeah, I'm trying to breed these up as well. Okay. Um, let's just grab some shulker boxes over here. And this. Okay, sorry about that. Um, uh, yeah, something happened. I'm not really 100% sure, but my compu my Minecraft basically crashed. Um, anyways, let's continue what I was doing. Um, so, we need to make our ransom, or our kind of alert area. Um, first, we need to kidnap Renee. Second, we need to go, um, we, well, first, af before we kidnap Renee or do anything, we need to make our kidnapped room. Which I think I already have. Um, I believe I did this last episode and I just forgot. Um, oh, I probably should sleep. Okay, um, so I think I made my kidnapped room already. Um, I don't 100% remember if I did. Um, I pre-designed this room ahead of time, like way ahead of time, way before I, well, like right when I was planning to kidnap Renee at the beginning. Um, I designed this in the astronomy tower. Yes, this room. This is the kidnapped room. Just let me break this open. This is where I'm going to be putting kidnapped Renee. Um, but the problem is, I gotta get her all the way up there in the first place. I think I might be able to, but the most likely situation is that I'm just being stupid. Um, <laughs> the most likely situation is I have to go all the way back down and get more building blocks and make a staircase up there. So, for this time lapse, it's a pretty quick time lapse. It was not actually meant to be a time lapse first, but it took a bit longer than I thought it would, so I switched it up to a time lapse. Um, we are going to steal Renee now. First, I'm making a staircase to let her be able to go up the stairs. I choose... Yeah, I lost two wolves there. I got really sad about that. That was like the second time it had happened, so I wasn't happy, obviously. But I break into here to give space for the horse to be able to come up. And then I don't remember what I do. I was sad. I go back down. Grab some dye to enlist two new bodyguards before I go over and save her night. Because I have a rule that I always need three dog bodyguards. So I always just go to the animal sanctuary and get two more bodyguards since all the dogs in there are trained. Um, I accidentally left one in there the other day so it was a happy mistake because I got that bodyguard and then I landed in the woods and ran to Starlight's house. And then I have to break all the sweet berry bushes to free Renee. Um, and do not worry, Renee is not badly injured. We passed by Lavender's gravestone. Lavender being a dog that died in an accident in the earlier episodes of the series. 
and uh, Starlight blamed me because I fell into a pit while they were chasing me and the dog died because I fell into the pit. It died from fall damage. Starlight was not happy. I had quite trouble getting Renee through, but I did eventually. I almost died actually getting her through. I had to remove a bunch of stone bricks to be able to get Renee into her cell. Now we need to add in some protection precautions. The wolves are keeping Renee safe. Do I need to enlist more bodyguards or should they be okay? Yeah, no, they're okay. Renee isn't like them. Um, now fix my architecture. Because... It doesn't look too nice now. Okay. Scooch puppies. And we gotta fill in some more rooms. So. I think one of. I sealed up one of these rooms with extra skeletons. There we go. Okay, so we are now back with editing Rubix, who's recording this time lapse. This was not meant to be a time lapse in the first place. I just decided it would be better if it was a time lapse. So, down here we just do a little errand stuff. We need to grab some coal, and then and uh, we also needed to grab the stuff that smelted down in the super smelter, so that's what we did. Um, I put everything that I need to go put my ransom note for Renee there, and then I also put everything else in a shulker box. I go back down and went into my storage because I actually forgot a sign. I do not know why I consistently forget to bring signs with me whenever I'm leaving something at somebody's house, but yeah. And I also make the ransom note because, of course, I forgot to make the book and quill. Um, so now that I had everything ready, I also picked up an item frame. And we were 100% ready to fly away and go ki not kidnap. Since we already kidnapped Renee, we are going to go leave the note to let Starlight know that we kidnapped Renee. So, of course, I replant the sweet berries that I had to break to rescue Renee out of there. Um, but then I throw the rest of the sweet berries that I got into the pit of sweet berry bushes and make a scary gravestone looking ransom note platform. And then I make a sign that says, read me for Renee. I place an item frame and I write a letter to Starlight. I misspell quite a lot of things, so don't judge me about that. I was typing a bit fast. Um, but it basically reads, did you notice Renee was gone? Pay me 10 diamonds for her additional stuff and 20 diamonds for her. And then I put on the next page a thing that has her sign. And there's an asterisk at the end. I add it near the end of the time lapse, so don't worry if it isn't there initially. But I add a little asterisk as a condition. She never needed to sign that. It was just to make the deal go smoothly. By smoothly, I really meant more smoothly for me to get more money. But anyways. <laughs> I leave that and I flip to 12 pages and I said when signing you decree that you will pay double the amount wanted. Um, and I add a couple of extra lines like turn to the next page, the asterisks, and, and basically I also add for ransom at the end of that. 
which pretty much seals up the deal. I had to go get an ink, ink sac because I totally forgot to bring one initially. So I had to get one so that she could actually see what the sign said. But yeah, I go up to the Ravenclaw common room and I sleep. And I don't know why I stood there for a couple of seconds, but I did. I was just staring at the door. Um, and anyways, I put a, my key in and I grabbed a couple of things and I'm going to hand you over back to past Rubix where she is going to end up the episode. This episode, we have done a ton of stuff. So, we kidnapped Renee and we set up our ransom stand. Now, um, I will see you guys next episode. I hope you have a great time in between this episode and next episode, and see you soon.